Hello there, welcome to KHC Singles Devotional for the 7th of April. The topic is how to end confusion in your life and relationship. From calls coming in from around the world, from different cultures and environments dotted around the map and the continent, one statement has remained resolute, stubborn and constant, and that is, Pastor, I am confused right now. The next question then is, where does the confusion come from? Take a look at this scripture. Romans 1 verse 21, message translation. What happened was this. People knew God perfectly well, but when they didn't treat him like God, refusing to worship him, they trivialized themselves into silliness and confusion so that there was neither sense nor direction left in their lives. When you know who God is but refuse to treat him as God, the result is confusion. When you refuse to put God first place in your life, the result is confusion. When you ignore God's word and counsel, the result is a confused state. Confusion usually occurs in a place of darkness. If you are in a large house with no light on, everywhere will be dark because you cannot see. You start to bump into things and you can stumble easily. In the same way, when the mind is darkened and you, know, and you cannot see what seems obvious, the result is a state of confusion. The word of God brings us into illumination. When we embrace God's word and do it, it lights our paths. That is why the scripture tells us that his word is a lamp unto our feet. It gives direction. It eliminates confusion. No matter how spiritual that seems to you, that is the way out. Confusion also comes when you directly violate the counsels of God. For example, we all know that premarital sex is not what God approves. But the moment you delve into that, the next thing is confusion. The mind's eyes become unclear and the path becomes foggy. When a married man or woman dabbles into realms reserved for the adulterous and the rebellious, the outcome is confirmed confusion. In this moment of confusion, the way out is to see God genuinely, but we often look for more sex or a new relationship, thinking something is wrong with the other person. We often try to show that we are okay and that we can keep and manage a relationship well. So when one does not work out, we jump into another and get more sex and then more confusion. We try to get back at our ex and to show we are okay and in the bid to do that, there will be more confusion. The message is clear. Without doing it God's way, what you will have is confusion at the end of the day. If you try to satisfy a boyfriend or a girlfriend at the expense of God, it will result in confusion and the relationship will break up. You don't have all the wisdom needed to keep a relationship and make it lead to marriage. You will always need God's help and wisdom. But the moment you disobey God and refuse to repent genuinely, you are not going to have his support and favor working for you. Rather, there will be confusion. You don't need to let your life become an experiment. You can learn from wisdom this morning and save yourself from a lot of agonies. Psalm 71 verse 4, King James Version. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. When you put your trust in God, it will save you from confusion. A word for married couples, avoid strife like a plague between you and your spouse. Do not envy yourselves. Rather, decide to live a selfless life and you will chase confusion away. Apologize quickly and say sorry fast. You are one. Don't fight yourselves. James 3 verse 16, King James Version. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Meditation for the day. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, King James Version. Prayer for the day. 1. I come against every spirit of confusion in Jesus' name. 2. I refuse to allow anything or anybody confuse me. 3. I have the Spirit of God in me, therefore I am not confused. Confession for the day. I will not be confused. I know what to do. I have the mind of Christ, therefore I know all things. God speaks to me. I hear his voice every day of my life. His peace guides and guards my decisions.
the eyes of my understanding remains open. I will not be confounded. I will not break. I will not be bleak of ideas. The light of God's word shines through my heart. It illuminates every dark part in my life. Action plan for the day. Decide to do everything God's way. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international videos, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandhouse.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlocks.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.